Hello and welcome to today's video. Slightly different one today. Um, I'm here, I've just got like a Lockbee uh, Tomal River notebook here and a rickshaw little pen sleeve with a couple of pens in it. I'm just sitting down to do some like, I suppose, commonplace journaling uh, because I watch videos and I take notes uh, on sort of like self-help productivity kind of stuff. Uh, and this is sort of what I do. And I sit down in the evening and I watch something and I take some notes and work out how I can implement that into my daily routine or make my life more productive uh, on the limited time I have to do certain tasks. Uh, so I thought what I would do today uh, is I'm actually going to um, just set up the page and talk about the couple of pens I'm going to be using because they're both from Platypus Pens um, and I've done full reviews of both of these which I'll link to down below uh, but I've got the two Model 10 pens so the Model 10 and the Model 10 Quokka which is the little pocket version um, and so I'm going to be doing a little bit of writing with those as I watch the video um, and so I thought what I would do today um, is just set up uh, the page. So generally what I uh, do, this is a book where I sort of uh, write all my commonplace stuff, including like you might be able to see through the page there, like currently inked um, stuff and all that. I, I love these notebooks for this because they're easy to store, they're easy to sort of put away, and there's lots of different versions of these kinds of size books, simple A5, you know, this is sewn bound sort of thing. Um, and so yeah, so what I generally do is I write um, the date at the top of the page. Uh, so today is the 28th of April, probably a couple of days after that once it's posted, uh, 2024. Uh, and then I generally write like what pens I'm using because I'll often, when I go back and read the notes, wonder, oh, what was I writing with? What was that ink and that kind of thing? Uh, so this is a great chance for me to do that. And I thought I would share that with you and then talk about why I'm using these pens and why I love them so much. So we have the uh, Platypus pens. model 10 and this is into with montblanc lavender purple uh this has a i think it's a medium nib yeah medium nib okay so the model 10 uh, is the sort of a full size pen here from Platypus Pens. Uh, and they had the model, Michael Liu, who runs Platypus Pens here in Melbourne, like my home city at the moment, uh, he 3D prints fountain pens and um, to his own sort of designs and everything. And the model 10 here was his uh, second version. He started with the model one, uh, which is very clearly, uh, very, you know, subtly modeled off uh, the Waterman Expert, I think it was. Uh, fountain pen uh, and then the model 10 is the slightly bigger version of that michael loves the model one i love the model 10 it works very very well and these have uh the model 10 here has a number six size nib and this is a yovo as had yovo medium they're 3d printed there's a range of different colors and so the patterns on the pen if you look at the quokka here which i'll be showing in just a second uh, you can see the pattern of the 3d print is slightly different these are both in the same base plastic but one has a blue uh, trim and, the other, and this one has the purple uh, which I love which is also why I put a purple ink uh, in the pen um, and it's such a beautiful purple as well lavender purple uh, the model uh, 10 here is a standard international cartridge converter and will take a converter I currently have a cartridge of Mont Blanc lavender purple in it um, I'm currently in the process of moving house uh, and I want to use up a bunch of the things um, that I just don't want to throw out. I want to use them. And so I had a couple of cartridges left of this, so I'm using this at the moment. It's a beautiful ink, um, but yes, a cartridge at the moment, but it will take a standard converter and it's a beautiful pen and the size and the balance in the hand is so nice. Um, what Michael, one of the things Michael does is he puts a, uh, like a ballast in the, in the pen. So it uh, works as like a roll stop because there's no, there's no clip. Um, he puts a weight in there so that it won't roll away great little detail, attention to detail like that, I absolutely love. While we're here, let's have a look at the uh, other uh, pen here I have, which is the Quokka, which is the smaller version of the Model 10 and comes out to be a nice size pen, uh, you know, once it's posted. So once again, the number six, uh, Yovo Nib in medium. So let's just do the little writing here. This is, as I said, the Quokka 
which I think is a great name. This is also a medium. Uh, and the ink I have in this is a diamine. It's Oxford blue. Now the Quokka uh, is a standard international, but it won't take a converter. So we just use this with cartridges. You can refill the cartridges as I do quite often. Once again, I'm using through stuff so I don't just have to chuck it out. Um, so this is a, uh, a cartridge there of Diamine Oxford Blue. They're held very securely in place by the body of the pen there. And as you can see, it comes in at a nice sort of size pen. And if I put up the, uh, the full size Model 10, it is slightly shorter uh, there. Um, but it's the same width and everything, and uh, it is a super nice size in the hand. I really do like the Quokka, and they are a very popular pen model for platypus pens um, for their functionality and their form and everything. In fact, a couple of years ago in my end of year video, I think I commented on form and function of the Quokka being, uh, you know, such a great pen. So those are the pens I'm using. I absolutely love them. I love platypus pens. I've got a bunch of them. There's a new model coming out, all that kind of stuff. I love it, love it, love it. Now, what is commonplace journaling? Well, commonplace journaling, as I said, is basically kind of note-taking, writing down quotes or ideas. It's a collection of thoughts or you know little points and things it's not like long form journaling or bullet journaling this is something that i use for study and for reflection if you're interested uh, in my take on commonplace journaling uh, and how i use it in my life let me know in the comments um, i'm happy to make a video about it at some point and sh you know show through one of my sessions or something like that um, this is just how I set up the page for each of those sessions. I like to write the date. I like to, as I said, I like to write what I'm writing with so that when I look back, I can see what it was. Um, so this journal becomes part of a series of journals over a period of time where I write what you know, my currently inked is, what, uh, you know, what, is it, what pens I'm using, notes off videos, notes from books, uh, ideas for videos even, things like that. It's just sort of like a, a collection of ideas that help you reflect and take away what you need. So, as I said, let me know if that's something you're interested in seeing more about. In the meantime, I wanna know what you're writing with, I wanna know uh, what your setup is, uh, and if you have any sort of journaling ideas or ways you use forms of journaling in your life uh, to help you through. And as I said, this is, you know, today's video um, is a, a couple of videos about productivity uh, and about uh, running a side business alongside like a full-time job. So let's, uh, yeah. In the meantime, so that's basically it for now. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you found this video interesting and useful. Please like and subscribe, hit the notifications button, all that kind of stuff. Uh, get in touch with Michael there at Platypus Pens if you're interested in these pens. They come in a huge range of colors, as I said, different patterns and a few different models and things. Uh, so check out his website, but also just uh, drop him an email and uh, see if he can help you uh, find the right pen for you from his lineup. So thank you for watching. Uh, enjoy your pens, enjoy writing, and I'll talk to you soon.